Nothing was off limits for the Nugan Hand Bank, not even murder. Now, for the first time, claims the bank was ready to kill to silence its enemies. By the late 1970s, the Nugan Hand Bank is already suspected of laundering money for some of Australia's most notorious drug traffickers. The New South Wales Attorney General, Frank Walker, launches a wide-ranging investigation into the bank's activities. We gained a very strong impression that the Nugan Hand Bank was in fact a financier of the drug trade around the world. Frank Walker died three years ago, but shortly before his death, he recorded an interview with author Peter Butt for his book, Merchants of Menace. It is undoubted that Nugent Hand Bank was involved in drug trafficking by sending money backwards and forwards between drug cartels, Mr Asia Cartel, one that was sending the heroin to, to kill our kids in Australia. If people think about their concerns about ice now, that's a bit like what it was then, that heroin was the big killer of young people and not so young people. Young people in Australia were dying, yes. no doubt, because yes. of what this bank was doing. Yes. John Dowd, then a young Liberal Party MP, was on the opposite side of the political fence to Frank Walker, but just as convinced that the Nugan Hand Bank was a front for laundering drug money. There's a limit to what a serving member of parliament can do. Uh, so I decided to go up to Chiang Mai, the old former capital of Thailand, um, to see what I could see what the connection was. So you go to Chiang Mai? And went to the Nugan Hand office and uh, was absolutely gobsmacked that there were there was just a wall between Nugan Hand and the US Drug Enforcement Agency. They they shared a wall on the same floor of the same building. Dowd and Walker put aside their political differences and declared war on Nugan Hand. But taking on Frank Nugan and Michael Hand was always going to be a dangerous business. And Michael stabbed him and ripped the knife up through his sternum. The bank boss's men turned to Doug Sapper, an old mate of hands from Vietnam days, an ex-Special Forces soldier turned mercenary, now doing undercover work for the bank. In about 1977, uh, Doug Sapper uh, was carrying out uh, uh, money moving operations for Michael Hand out of Hong Kong. And there were two rough looking Australians Michael said, you can trust these guys. Uh, they took him out to lunch and they basically uh, proposed that he uh, come to Sydney and carry out a hit. Doug Sapper, disguised in this interview at his request, was not impressed. They just told me they could make arrangements to get me into Australia and that they'd get me out. Why do you have to come all the way to Hong Kong to try to find a hitter? Yeah, no, excuse me. You can go down to King's Cross and get a pimp to do this. I go to Australia and I do the job. Now, there's only one loose end that hasn't been tied up. Me. They just shoot you through the head, leave the body in the lobby of the government building. And I wasn't even going to have that conversation with these guys. The intended target was believed to be a member of the New South Wales Parliament. Almost certainly either Frank Walker or John Dowd. Do you believe that the people behind the crimes in the Nugan Hand Bank were capable of killing to conceal their crimes? Oh yes, but it's better with prominent people to discredit them than to cause the major outcry that would come from a killing. And that's exactly what Nugan Hand then set out to do. Frank Nugan was prepared to offer $50,000 to anyone who could compromise me as Attorney General. This was a clear attempt to frame me. When $50,000 did turn up in a Swiss bank account in Attorney General Frank Walker's name, it looked for all the world like a bribe. They'd actually set up a fake bank account to smear Frank Walker. I think uh, Frank Nugent uh, saw him as number one, enemy number one, and was willing to do anything to get rid of him. 
bank account in The allegations Ray. could have ended Frank Walker's career, but Walker's political opponent, John Dowd, refused to take the bait. Oh, it, it, my view at the time, and I haven't changed it, uh, is it was an attempt to discredit Frank, who was causing corporate affairs investigations, uh, and that there was no substance in it at all. So somebody, probably the Nugent Hand Bank, had put $50,000 in a bank account in Frank Walker's name just to smear him. Yes. It's an incredible allegation, isn't it? Not at the time.